welcome back to the Moran family. So today's video is going to be my daughter Jade's first birthday party haul. I'm so excited to be filming this. I can't believe I'm even filming this. Her first year just flew by. So I have a lot to share with you guys. I have her party decorations that I'll be sharing, a party tent that I bought. I'll also be sharing her first birthday outfit that she'll be wearing. I'll also be sharing her birthday gift that me and my husband bought her. And then at the end of this video, I will share her birthday wish list for her guests. That way you guys can get some ideas on like what to get your baby for their first birthday. So if you don't follow me over on Instagram, you probably don't know my daughter's birthday theme, but I've been sharing it because I'm just so excited. If you didn't know, Jade is my rainbow baby. So for her first birthday, I thought rainbows would just be so fitting for her theme. So that is her theme, rainbows, but it's not like your traditional bright, rainbow it's kind of like a boho rainbow theme so the rainbow is like neutral tones so lots of like mauves pink tones browns and like wooden things so that's kind of the vibe that i have going on for her party i will also share the like cake and cookies inspo and like food that i'll be doing at her party too so i'm gonna give you guys like a full breakdown of my vision for her party so let's go ahead and jump into it as always make sure you check the description down below for links i will try to link as much as i can down below or at least similar products because a lot of this stuff did come from etsy so like a lot of um smaller shops so i knew a lot of this stuff was going to take a while to ship so i gave myself that time so that's why i started ordering a couple months ago but I'll try to link as much as I can down below like I said the first thing I'm going to share with you guys is her outfit so here is the little dress that I got her how cute is this I got it from Target it is $15 this is the brand Grayson mini highly recommend this brand they have the cutest neutral tone clothing so again this is the dress that she's going to be wearing so it comes with the t-shirt bodysuit and then the dress, they're not attached at all, so you can totally take this off if you wanted to. But I think it looks so cute with this little like layering going on. I think that's so cute with like the t-shirt underneath the dress, especially for little girls. I just love that look. So the top is cream colored, it's ribbed, and then it has lettuce detailing along the sleeves. And then the dress is kind of in like this muted orange pinky tone color and then like i said the theme is like muted rainbows so i just thought this dress was perfect so that is the outfit that she's going to be wearing at her party i'm still on the hunt for something like simple yet cute because i am going to do an outfit change at her party because i do plan on letting her like go crazy at her cake like letting her do a cake smash whenever we sing to her so i do plan on this getting super dirty so i want to change her into something like simple yet cute so i'm on the hunt for something else but that is going to be her main outfit and then for shoes i got her some moccasins i got these off of amazon but the brand is little b mox i do need to size down in these so i'm gonna just save these for later but i do plan on ordering the same exact ones just i need to order a size down because they're a little big i tried them on her when i got these but they are just so cute so they're just little moccasins i love putting these on babies especially like new walkers jade isn't walking yet but i'm sure she'll figure it out soon because she just started pulling herself up she does it all of the time so i'm pretty sure she'll be walking soon but highly recommend these the quality is really nice they are stretchy so you don't have to worry about like struggling to get these on your baby next are these little tabletop floral arrangements so at our party we're going to have six tables but these are so hard to track down i tried like two different targets in person and i've been like stalking targets website and these constantly are going out of stock this is part of their fall collection this year but i just thought like the colors and like the wood tone is so perfect for her party so i think i'm gonna put one on like every other table because i was going to use these as centerpieces i just think they are so pretty and these will look so pretty in my house too after her party especially my girls room because their room is like pink and like boho i do have a video up on my channel if you guys want to see their room so these will be perfect for her party and then like decor in my house afterwards so the bottom is like wood toned the only thing though is 
the bottoms are not consistent it's not a big deal but just keep that in mind if you do buy these that the bottoms are not really consistent so this one is like super light toned and then this one is darker and then it has like some different um color tones in there so just keep that in mind if you do buy these that the bottoms are not really consistent but i just think they're so pretty it has like this pampas grass vibe going on like dry floral it has some pinky mauve brown tones in there other things that i have up here are napkins so this is by the brand mary mary they have the cutest party decorations like not traditional themes that you can find at like target and walmart so highly recommend mary mary for party decor so i got two different sizing for the napkins so i got the big size and then the little size so these are like cream colored napkins and then they have a scalloped edging and then it has kind of like this um little tribal print all around hopefully you guys can see that so big size and then a little size there is um 20 napkins in each i think i bought six of each so i have 120 napkins of the little ones and then 120 of the big ones so those are the napkins for plates i got these off of amazon these are disposable plates so again i got the big size for whenever we are like eating and then the smaller size for cake these would be perfect for a baby shower or even a wedding these would look so good because again they are disposable so if you don't want to reuse them and wash them you can just throw them out call it a day but they are just so pretty so i believe i got the cream colored or it was like ivory or something like that i'm not sure but like i said i will link everything down below so i got the big size and then the small size for cake and then the plates kind of have like that scalloped detail around just like the napkins and then they have like this um really pretty like um detailing around which i thought went really good with the napkins they kind of have like the same detail going on so i thought those were just perfect so those are the plates for utensils i got wooden utensils so this is a 300 piece set that i also got off of amazon so the brand is woodable i believe so here is what they look like so i got spoons forks and knives so they're just wooden try not to touch them because you know for sanitary reasons for my guests but those are the utensils that we're going to be using and then for tablecloths i was on the hunt for something that was a little bit more durable than your traditional like table covers that you can find at like party city dollar tree literally anywhere the reason why i didn't want to get those is because it gets pretty windy where we live we live in the desert so we do get high winds here and every single time we've had a party those table covers just are terrible because we've tried like taping them to the table and they always just end up ripping off flying off the table and it's just a pain so i was on the hunt for something that was a little bit more durable that hopefully will not be flapping in the wind so i got these off of amazon they were a little bit pricey i want to say it was like between 15 to 20 dollars depending on what size you get i'm not sure how it's going to hold up against like tomato based foods as far as stains go so i'll have to get back to you guys after we use them but it does feel like really good material it feels like you can easily just like wipe your mess away because this is not cloth i forgot the material i want to say maybe it was like vinyl or something like that but it is um wipeable so that's why i went for this one again it has that scallop detail that i have going on with a lot of the party decor and then it has like this um little dots along the scallop detail too the only thing i am iffy about this is the color i feel like it's a little too yellow than i would have liked but i don't know maybe i'm just overthinking it because it's jade's first birthday so i just want every little thing to be perfect but i don't know my husband said it was fine so we'll see i mean i think it looks okay against everything it just seems a little bit more yellow than i would have liked but i'll probably just keep it anyways because like i said that was like 20 bucks and i don't want to go through the hassle of returning it because i still need to order like five more of them because like i said we have like six tables 
and I didn't want to fork out all that money in case I didn't like them. So I only ordered one and then depending on how I like it, I'll order the other ones. But I'm pretty sure I'll just order it because we're getting close here to her party and that took forever to get here. It kept getting back ordered and then my shipment got lost. It was just a whole process. Anyways, the other two things that I have are some bamboo wooden trays. So it came in a two pack and these are pretty decent size too. They feel like they're really good material. So I'm gonna put like some treats on here, maybe cookies. I'm not sure how I'm going to set it up, but I am going to put food on here. And then the other thing that I have is this little wooden caddy that I got from Target. So here's what the caddy looks like. So it's white on the outside and then the handle and then the inside is like that natural light wooden color so again this was from target i'm not sure what i'm going to put in this yet i was thinking maybe like the utensils like the forks the knives napkins stuff like that in here i'm not 100 percent sure yet but i'll find some use out of this because i thought it was just super pretty i also have some other plates and then a cake stand to share with you guys these are both from that brand mary mary that i was telling you so i got six natural bamboo plates i don't think i'm going to use these at her party because i only bought a six pack because like i said mary mary is kind of pricey so i think i'm going to use these on her actual birthday because her birthday is october 19th but her party is going to be the 16th i thought they were so pretty and i was going to do these originally for her party but like i said mary mary is kind of pricey and i didn't want to fork out all of that money because these ones were a really good deal because i just got so many i got like four packs of the small ones and then four packs of the big ones i also got a cake stand from mary mary this is their bamboo cake stand in the 8 inch size. There's two different sizes that their cake stands come in, I think. Or there's three maybe. I'm not sure. But there was a smaller one and then a big one. I went with the smaller one because I'm going to put her cake smash cake on here. So here's what the cake stand looks like. Again, it has that scallop edge detailing. And then it's just in that bamboo natural light tone color i think this will be so cute set up on the table with jade's little cake smash we are doing two cakes so we're doing one like huge cake for all of our guests and then one smaller cake just for jade to go crazy and eat it during her little cake smash when we sing to her so i'm gonna put her little cake smash cake on here on the table and then i think i'm going to just have the bigger cake in my fridge and then i'll just pull it out whenever um, we're done singing happy birthday and we serve those to our guests next is a tiered stand that i got off of amazon most of this stuff i haven't even opened yet because i've just been storing it because it's just so much so all of this stuff has just been slowly taking over our homeschool room here's what the tiered stand looks like i'll insert a picture right here so you guys can see it assembled because i don't want to do that right now because i don't want to potentially lose any pieces so here's what it looks like again it has that scallop detail this is a three-tiered stand so there's a larger plate a medium sized one and then a smaller size one and then it has some like really pretty like embroidery detail all over it this was a two pack so one stand and then another stand i think i'm going to use these to display her cookies i did buy like two dozen cookies so i think i'm going to put the cookies on these stands i'll put 12 on each stand i have some candles these are also by the brand mary mary they have the cutest birthday candles so i got the 16 um golden birthday candles they're extra long too i think these will be super pretty i did also buy a smaller like shorter version of these candles too i'm not sure where they are they're kind of like mixed somewhere in here but i did buy the shorter version i'll put a picture right here so you guys can see them that way i can put the shorter version in her cake smash and then i'll put the longer version in her other cake i got a beaded wooden garland i got this one from target so i plan on hanging this 
for her party there is one two three nine little mini clothespins on here so it's going to be really hard but i'm gonna try to choose nine pictures of jade all the way from birth till she is one year old and then i'm going to hang them on here that way we can just have some of my favorite pictures hanging at her party so that's what i'm going to use this for again that was from target i have two vases to share with you guys they are the same exact vases but they're just different sizing so here's what the vases look like they are a lot smaller than i thought they were going to be i should have paid attention to the dimensions and originally i wanted to diy this and do this myself i wanted to go to like dollar tree and just get some like cheapy vases and then buy the paint and do it myself but I have just been so busy lately, so I just forked out the money and bought these myself. I've seen a lot of TikToks of people doing vases like this themselves, and they seem really simple because you just have to buy the vases that you can get anywhere from like Dollar Tree, like I said, so really inexpensive. And then you just buy the paint, paint it on, and then just do like two coats, and then you're good to go. So that was my plan originally, but I've just been so busy, so I ended up just buying these. These are from Amazon. Really good quality though, by the way, so I don't regret buying these because I'll still be able to use these as like home decor after her party, which is what I really liked about her birthday party theme too is because I'll be able to use a lot of this stuff for like home decor because this is kind of like my vibe in my home too. So love that I'll be able to reuse this stuff. So inside of these vases, I am going to put... Pampas grass, pampas grass, I don't know how you say it, but I bought two different packs. So these were from two different sellers, but I got both of them off of Amazon. I know they look a little funny in the packaging right now, but these will fluff up. You're supposed to take them out of the packaging and then put them out in the sun and then they will just really poof up. I'll put a picture right here so you guys can see what they're supposed to look like. So they are two different packs, so this one is like brown with a hint of like mauve color in it and then this one also has that brown with mauve but then it has like this wheat colored one and then like this lighter like cream colored one and then i'm going to put those inside of the vases that i showed you guys i might just have to cut the stems because they might be too tall for the vases and then to go underneath her high chair i have a little mat I do plan on setting up her high chair, like I said, because she is going to do the cake smash. So I'm going to set up her high chair. Really cute. I do have a high chair garden to share with you guys here in a second. So this mat is from House of Noah. I do have a discount code with them if you guys want to check them out. I will leave their website linked down below. I believe my code is Moran10 and that will save you 10% off your order. So I already had this. I didn't buy this specifically for her party but this will go perfect with her theme. So I plan on using this. What I use this for daily is for like arts and crafts for my children because this is completely wipeable. So whenever we're doing messier, like sensory things like um, Play-Doh, slime or painting, this is what I use this mat for. But like I said, I'm going to use it for under her high chair at her party. So it's a really big mat. It's in like this mauve pinky color and then it has like this white design on it and then i did get a little garland to hang on her height chair this was also from etsy so i'm going to hang this up in front of her height chair the high chair that i do have for jade is the ikea high chair so i'm gonna hang this up in front i think the colors are so pretty so as far as backdrop goes I also got this off of Etsy, so this is going to go up against the wall. So here's what the backdrop looks like. I'm going to hang this up on the wall behind her high chair. That way behind her is all decorated for pictures. Last things that I have to share with you guys as far as party decorations go is balloons. I bought quite a bit from a few different shops. So the first ones is letter balloons. So I got her name, J-A-D-E, Jade, and they are gold, so they're just um, letters. And then I also ordered the string with it, that way I can hang these up. And then as far as like main balloon garland goes, I bought a huge pack of balloons for that. I do plan on doing a balloon garland 
kind of like this for example i plan on setting that up i'm gonna do it like around her high chair like this picture right here here's what the balloons look like so just those muted like um peachy pink mauve um brown tones so that's the balloon garland and then it came with the little strip to hang your balloon garland and then the little sticky stickers to stick um like small balloons i also have these kind of balloons so you know those balloons that you see at parties that um you use to make like balloon animals these are what these balloons are but these are going to make a um rainbow so it's going to make a rainbow like this and they match perfectly with um the balloon garland so they go together so i am going to blow these up with um one of these these are key for this i do have a electric um balloon pump which is another must have if you are going to do a balloon garland buy an electric balloon pump it saves so much time but for these balloons since these are thinner and smaller a hand pump was recommended so i just got like a five dollar one off of amazon so those and then to go with these balloons too i ordered um the tassels to go on the ends of the rainbow i think that was the last balloon set so i have the rainbow arches the lettering balloons and then the main balloon garland so that is everything that i have to share with you guys as far as like decorations go so i just pulled up my list you guys know i'm a sucker for my list i am totally a planner so i have everything written down so i'm going to share with you guys what i have planned as far as food goes so we really really want to get a taco man it would just make our life so much easier because usually for our parties i have benny grill but I feel like he's always stuck behind the grill so he doesn't like get to spend that much time with us. So I really want to avoid him grilling. If the taco man doesn't work out, my backup is going to be subs, Sam's Club. Um, my mom does have a Sam's Club membership so I was going to have her pick up like a bunch of sub platters, like just different kinds of sub platters. So that is my backup as far as food goes. I'm going to just try to keep it as simple as I can. And then for like sides and stuff, I was going to do a bunch of different kinds of chips, um, sugar cookies, yogurt pretzels, or chocolate covered pretzels. And then I was going to do a bunch of fruit. So I was going to put together a entire fruit platter. I was going to do like um, grapes, watermelon, strawberries, just an entire fruit platter. I also ordered some cookies. I ordered two dozen cookies. I'll put a picture right here of the inspo that I'm going to do. I ordered them though, so I'm not making them myself. And then I already ordered her cake and cake smash, so I'll put the picture right here too so you guys can see what that looks like. So now let's talk about gifts. So I actually already bought Jade's gift. I bought it like months ago because it was just a hot product and it's not available anymore. I think you can still pre-order it, but I don't think you can like get it right now like to ship out. So it was like a hot like item, so that's why I bought it like months ago. But it is a like foam rainbow arch. It's from the brand Gather. I'll put a picture right here because it is so heavy. So I didn't want to take it out of the packaging, all of that stuff. It is so pretty. I did not buy it just to match her birthday theme. I genuinely like wanted this gift and I think she will love it. I think it will be perfect for a baby who is crawling and then like a new walker. Especially like toddlers because they start to like climb on everything so i think she'll get a ton of use out of this gift so it is a rainbow arch like i said it is like a three-piece thing so you can put the rainbow together because they stack up or you can like actually stack them on top of each other i'll put pictures right here so you guys can see what i'm talking about so it's really cool because your child can like crawl underneath the rainbow they can climb on it and i looked up the reviews too of people that were able to snag it already and if your child does happen to climb on top of the arch, it's not going to droop down or anything. So it is really sturdy. So I feel like she is going to love it. She'll get a ton of use out of it. So that is the gift that I bought Jade for her birthday. So now I'm going to share her Amazon wish list, which I kind of struggled putting this together, to be honest, because I feel like Jade just has so many toys. We've been getting Love Every Play Kit subscription boxes since she was a newborn and now she's almost a year so i feel like she just has so many toys so 
I struggled to put this wish list together, but I feel like I got some pretty good things on here. So I will just share it with you guys and I will put pictures on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I put a ton of books on her wish list. I feel like you can never go wrong with books. They're just so good, educational. It's really good for your child to hear you reading. So I feel like books are the way to go, especially if you don't know what to get your baby. So I have a few on here. So the first one is called ABC, What Can She Be? And it's about girls can be anything. So it's a really good book for girls. So it is an ABC book too. So it has like a bunch of different occupations for girls ranging from like A, B, C, you know, the whole alphabet. So that is the first book that I have on there. The other book that I have is Corduroy. And this book I hold so near and dear to my heart because that was my favorite childhood book. I actually do have my childhood book still here but jade accidentally ripped it the other day so i had to like tape it up and i ripped it when i was little too so it was already taped up so the book is just falling apart so i put the book into storage and on her wish list i put the board book on here all of the books that i put on her wish list is um board books that way she can look at the book herself and i don't have to worry about her like ripping the pages or anything i also have the itsy bitsy spider and this one is considered a indestructible book i'm not sure how it's really going to hold up it's supposed to be like baby proof like they can suck on it they can try to rip it and it's like indestructible it had really good reviews so i put that one on there and then i have a few books from eric carlisle i think is how you say his name we have a few of his books and jade loves them so i put from head to toe on there I also put the grouchy ladybug on there and then I think that's it for books and then as far as toys go I have a silicone stacking rainbow on here we do have a rainbow in our playroom already that the girls love to like stack and play with but I put a silicone one on here because she is teething really bad so she's always putting things in her mouth so I have that on here I also have a wooden rainbow on here I have a Fisher Price Disney Frozen characters. We already have the Fisher Price Toy Story characters and she loves them. I have some clothing on here, I have quite a few clothing items on here, which I'll link down below. I have a silicone beach set on here, which can be really fun for sensory play, which I do a lot with the girls. So that's why I have that on here. And then I have a shape sorter, which is really fun for babies because they get to learn their shapes and they learn like cause and effect because when you drop it in, it like fits all of that stuff. I have a basket of babies, soft baby dolls, and you can actually change them because the clothing comes off. I have a soft um, like first purse set, which comes like makeup and a cell phone and like keys, super cute um what else do i have on here just a bunch of like clothes sweaters beanies because it's gonna start getting cold i have some corey carson toys on here because she loves that show her sisters watch that show all the time so she's really into it i have a little wooden stacking animal toy set on here and then i have chunky wooden puzzle sets on here i have a few variations of puzzles on here which are really good too I have a wooden rainmaker just for like some sensory play. And then I have a little wooden activity set on here that has like some gears that you can turn, has like a little musical side. So those are pretty much everything that I have on here. I have some shoes on here. I have some hair bows on here. So that is pretty much everything that I have on her wish list. So I didn't go too crazy. I tried to keep it as simple as possible i'm really into like montessori like educational toys so i tried to put all of that on her wish list but that is everything you guys that's everything that i bought for jade's first birthday party i hope you guys enjoyed this haul don't forget to check out the description down below for links but as always if you did enjoy today's video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed to the Moran family and make sure you hit that bell that way you guys always get notified every single time we upload and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <music>